If you're wondering where to find a nanny, how to hire them, what to ask them, how do you know they're right for you, how do you know they're reliable, I got you. My name is Shante, let's get right into it. Starting off strong with how do we find a reliable nanny? Number one, the number one place you can look for a reliable nanny is going to be a reference from your neighbors, from a trusted friend, from a trusted cousin. If you can find a nanny through a trusted source, you are already one step ahead because they already have a reference you trust. Another place to find a reliable nanny is two nanny agencies. This is the most expensive way to find a nanny because one thing's for sure, one thing's for certain the agency are gonna get their cut. So you're gonna have to pay an agency fee. The rates are usually a little higher with an agency, but they're very reliable because this is their full-time job. So you can count on them to always have a replacement for you. Number three is two Facebook groups. Personally, I don't think this is a bad way to find a nanny at all. Facebook groups, mom groups specifically, are great because other moms can post their nannies when they're ready to let them go, or nannies who are moving to different areas. It's a fantastic way to find a nanny for free. Number four is to your regular apps like sitter.com, Urban Care, Urban Sitter. All of those are great, but personally, I think they're the best for finding a sitter. If you're looking for a long-term and reliable nanny, I wouldn't say it's gonna be the best spot, but you can always get like, you found a couple of nannies you wanna interview. What is the process and what is an interview process for a nanny? I'm going to share my personal interview process for finding a nanny, but this is just me. I'm very extra and I like to make sure the person watching my kids is the right fit. I start with the phone interview, making sure our hours align, making sure I meet their minimum rate requirement and making sure they can travel to me. And I also ask a little bit about themselves and why they want their job, where they live and all of that good stuff. If they pass that simple first conversation, then I go for a second interview where I personally meet them in person. This is where I ask all of my questions. After I ask all of the questions and I like them and everything is going great, I ask for their references. I call every single reference. I make sure they gave me the right references and not just a cousin or a friend. Okay, once I've double checked their references, I ask for the ID for a background check. Once I've done a background check, then we go on to meeting my kids. The first meet is usually very simple at a park. Someone that could just introduce themselves to my kids. Hey, how are you? How is it going? Look at the natural chemistry. Second meet at my house. This, I usually start paying them just for the one or two hours they're there. This is when they start building rapport with my kids, getting to know my kids. I wanna see the natural chemistry between them and my kids in my kids' natural environment. Once that's done and I really like them, then we start that two week trial. This is when we really just do a two week trial before anybody signs any document making them my official nanny. Let's get into the questions I ask my nannies during the interview process. First question is usually, can you tell me about your previous experience working as a nanny? I like to really hear how they talk about the other family, their experience, what they liked about it, what they didn't like about it, how the kids were, how old the kids were in reference to my kids. Then I ask, how do you handle challenges behavior in children and can you provide me with examples I love what I hear in this term I love this question because I can always gauge how they handle challenging experiences based on how they answer because usually they already have an answer of how they do things number three what activities do you like doing with kids the second I hear somebody mention a TV character it's a wrap it is a wrap it is a red flag absolutely not I love hearing all the creative activities to do with kids taking them to the Park, coloring, singing, dancing, whatever it is, just no TV. Number four, how do you handle medical emergencies and do you have an example of any you've had to deal with? Sometimes I get examples, sometimes I don't, but I do like hearing how they handle it. I prefer somebody who tells me they will call 911 first in case of an emergency instead of me or instead of holding around trying to figure things out themselves. Number five, can you describe your approach to parenting? I love this one. There are so many ways to parent and even though a nanny is not a parent, I like hearing what approach they would take if they were to parent. Personally, I practice gentle and mindful parenting so I love to find someone who aligns with that. How do you handle meal preparation and dietary preparation? Are you good with it? Are you not good with it? This is just a preference. Personally, my nannies do not cook much, but I still like to know. What are your thoughts on communication with parents and how do you like to be communicated with? I love this one. Me and my husband do a group chat with me, my husband, and the nanny. We talk quite often. We love pictures. We love videos. So I like to find someone who can also provide me with some of these things. I have cameras in my home. 
I have to make sure they're good with cameras. How do you prioritize my children's safety when you're with them in the house or outside of the house? Are you comfortable with light cleaning, light cooking? This is just something I ask even though I don't actually have my nannies do any of these things. The questions I ask that are really easy for me to gauge what kind of nanny she is, how she prefers to work, how she would work with my kids. And of course, I have a few other questions that are more specific to my kids and their needs. But these are the standard questions I ask to gauge if a nanny is right for me. As far as how much to pay my nanny, I like to Google the average payment for a nanny in my area. And if they're a really good nanny, I'm going to pay them more because I want to keep them around. Because the way I utilize my nanny is I like to have them primarily focus on the kids if I'm home with them while I focus on other house chores. If I'm not home, I like to make sure food is ready for them. So all she has to do is really just have fun with my kids and be an addition to our family in the best, fun, positive, and just enjoyable environment. If you have any other questions regarding finding a nanny, hiring a nanny, and all the other good stuff, Drop the questions below. I am always happy to answer them. Be sure to follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and here on YouTube. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.